Welcome to Your Cochran Right Now, a weekly podcast all about the best town in the world. What town is that, Lauren? Cochrane. Cochrane. <laughs> this is a podcast all about what's going on in town, all the excitement going on around us as well. My name's Eric Ruddle, joined by Lauren Meister. And Lauren, we got to go to the big old city of Calgary this week because, of course, we work for 91.5 FM and uh, we're a country radio station. The CCMAs were in Calgary and we got to go to the red carpet. It was a pretty big deal. It Like, mind-blowingly big deal. I want to start at the beginning, because it just shows we do not get out of Cochrane very much. (laughs) We left Cochrane at 2, trying to get to the Saddle Dome. They said there is a hard cutoff entry time of 3. Yeah. So we gave ourselves an hour. Which, like, in theory, that should be enough time, right? Neither of us thought... Oh, there's probably construction in Calgary. <laughs> there's never construction in Calgary, right? So we're driving around being like, well, how do we get to the Saddle Dome again? <laughs> do we take this way? Oh, no, this way's closed. We walk through those doors. 2.59. We made it. We made it. But we were just laughing constantly to ourselves, being like, oh, man, we do not get out of Cochrane nearly enough. But we hit the red carpet, and it was a who's who of country music. Oh, yeah. Like, I think you and I have both interviewed some pretty big, oh, you know, famous yeah. people before. But usually it's like this big high. You're interviewing somebody, and it's so exciting. You talk about it for weeks, and then you don't interview somebody really famous for a long time. Oh, yeah. This was like, you're famous, you're famous. You're famous. And it was just like one person after another for two hours straight. It was so cool. And I got to start with, so Brett Kessel was there. Yes. With his kids. I kind of like, we were near the end of the line. Mm -hmm. So we could peek back and be like, oh, I can see who's coming up. Lauren, Brett Kessel's coming up. He's got his kids. And then I peeked up. I was like, oh. And uh, 98 Degrees with Nick Lachey is with him, too. I just said it like, oh, yeah, he's there, too. Your jaw (laughs) hit the floor. You are Nick Lachey's biggest fan? (laughs) I don't know about that, but you have to think back to the 90s and how big boy bands were, right? Yeah. Like Backstreet Boys, NSYNC, NSYNC, uh, like all of those. Right. 98 Degrees was right there with them. So Nick Lachey, like, it's true. They had some big hits, like Invisible Man. Like, are you remembering? You're, I know you're not quite. You're... I could name you at least 12 Backstreet Boy songs. Yeah. But uh, 98 Degrees, like, <laughs> I don't know. They had a music video where they were on a bridge. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I, yeah. I didn't have Nick cable. Lachey, I did recognize him, right? Yeah. Because oh. he was on TV with Jessica Simpson. Yeah, they ha- and well, and that's the thing. He became super famous when he had his first reality show right. with Jessica Simpson. Because that was the first time that we ever got to see inside people's homes. Right. Right? So like, like, that kind of paved the way for the Kardashians, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, this whole style of reality yeah. TV. Mm-hmm. Well, and we were talking to a young lady at McDonald's this morning, and she was so excited for Friday because Love is Blind comes out, and he apparently hosts that as well. Exactly. So he's still making waves in the industry, So right? we started off strong. You got to talk to Nick Lachey, poor Brett Kissel. You just, you didn't even see him there. <laughs> to be fair, they had to kind of shuffle 98 degrees along. I wanted to talk to Brett Kissel. Just didn't have We've talked time. to him before. Yeah, I yeah, mean, right. Brett's our buddy. But it was just one after another. Their handlers would come up, and yet again, we're small town folk, being like, well, "How do we do this?" We're like, we asked a couple of them, "Have you been to Cochrane?" They're like, "Yeah, <laughs> we love Cochrane. My grandma lives in Cochrane." Yes, that was really cool. Yeah. Well, and we talked to uh, Brad Rempel from High Valley, yeah. so like he loves Donaire on the run. He he's hung out with Paul Brandt a million times, oh, yeah. and he's got a gym membership here he in town. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. So he said he still has like a bunch of punch passes that he could come use. Lindsay L, of course, she's from Calgary, yeah. so she was talking about how many times she comes out here for hikes and g- comes obviously for ice cream as everybody yeah, does yeah and- uh, jade eagleson him and his wife come to glenbow ranch mm. they were saying they like to come out there and i gotta say the highlight though was we spotted george fox yes so he was walking the red carpet and you can tell he kind of just wanted to get to the end mm-hmm. right he's probably been doing this all weekend long yeah He's a little uh, more secluded kind of guy, right? Like, he doesn't live the lavish lifestyle. Yeah. So he was walking by. You can tell he's just kind of ignoring everyone. And we freaked out. 
George, George. And you can tell he stopped and he looked at us. We're like, we're from Cochrane now. <laughs> then he warmed up pretty darn yeah. quick. Oh, he, yeah. Guaranteed. Like at first he was just like, who are these people? I don't <laughs> yeah. really want to talk to you. Who the but... fans into yeah. the media line? <laughs> exactly. But then as soon as he got a glimpse of, you know, Cochrane now yeah. and he found out, because we've talked to him before. Yes. Then he was like, oh, I remember you guys. So yeah, that was so nice to have a conversation with him. We got a photo with him. He and was in Cochrane all week, he, apparently. Exactly. Yeah. He was hanging out. He checked out his old ranch while he was here. And yeah. he was just, it, he lives in Ontario now. So he said it was just nice to be back home again and see all of his friends and family because he was just inducted into the Canadian Country yeah, Music so Hall of cool. Fame. Like his backdrop with his Hall of yeah. Fame, like huge photo, a big write up about him. And uh, yeah, that was just, it was perfect because you and I both just fan peopled out over George oh, Fox. Right? Totally. It was just awesome. So that was a lot of fun. And yeah. the show turned out to be really good as well. It was and, so uh, good. Packed. It was a packed house at the Saddle yeah. Dome. Oh, and I got to say, though, you were so excited to interview this one oh. guy. I can't even remember his name. Alexander Ludwig. So he's an <laughs> actor. I, I'm a big movie TV guy. He's an actor in Vikings. He's in a big wrestling show called Heels. So for the most part, uh, we I took on the photographer role. Like I was like, oh, Lauren, you, you talk to these people. It's all good. Uh, but then I saw him. I was like, Lauren, I'm in. I want to talk to him about wrestling and the Hart family and being in Calgary, so he's coming up. Boop, boop, boop. And then Jade Eagleson kind of popped in front of him. So I chatted with Jade Eagleson. Very nice. And then he moves on. I'm like, now's my time. He's coming. He steps in front of us, and then his handler's like, oh, Alex, we gotta keep moving. Gone. And you didn't even get your chance. So the one person that you were super pumped to talk to, and Gone. you didn't get a chance. But I, you did get a photo with him. Oh like he's, he's in the background. I love the photo because I was like, I need proof in some way. So it's me standing. He has no idea I'm there. Yeah. He's chatting with the influencers from TikTok. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's my photo. But I really wanted to talk to him. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure he, because uh, he's also a country musician, which. Who knew? Good on him. Yeah. But uh, I wanted cool. to talk wrestling. Yeah. And I'm sure he would have been like, okay, guy. <laughs> yeah. Who, who are cool. you? Next time. Ne next, next red time. carpet event, because this happens so often. Oh, uh, very us. often. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you don't follow this award ceremony, it is, I think, like 9% of the time in Toronto. So right. it's very cool having it in Calgary. Well, and that's and exactly like that was that was the big key message from all of the country stars. They were just so excited to be having this in Calgary because yeah. this is like the country mecca of Canada, right? Yes. That's exactly what Lindsay Al was saying. Yeah. So just pumped that, that this happened here and awesome for us, right? Yeah. And earlier in the week, you and I had to also go to the city again to get our media passes yes. because he had to go early. So we went down Two to trips. the Hyatt downtown. And when we were driving, the message came out, hey, the queen, she's not doing so well. Mm -hmm. So we kind of chatted about that. You figured out I know nothing about the royal family and all mm -hmm. that stuff. We came back. You were in the news booth doing news. Mm -hmm. And I was just like flicking through Twitter. And then the royal family tweeted out, sadly, the mm -hmm. queen has passed. Yeah. So I was like, oh, should go tell Lauren. I come in just like, we have a big window. I was like, dunk, dunk, the queen died. <laughs> Your eyes were like, what? And uh, yeah, the, the queen passed away. You know, and I think she's 96 years old. I think that no one should be surprised. And <laughs> she was becoming more frail. She did have COVID this past winter. Yeah. So all of that, we weren't shocked in that sense. But we were all shocked in the sense that she's been our queen for forever. Oh, yeah. As long as we've been around. So it's, years. It's, it's bizarre to not have her as our queen. But, you know, it's been really interesting in the almost weeks since she's not been around. Just talking to so many local people. Oh, my gosh. Um, you know, this has affected so many people in so many ways. Even yesterday, I was talking to one of my friends who's a reporter in a different community. Okay. And uh, she covers Court of Queen's Bench, Ooh. which is now not called that it's the court of king's bench Whoa. now all of a sudden it just instantly makes the switch so she she was saying that she's struggling with that oh, like i could she, imagine like it's like a new year and you're switching the two to, to, to exactly. a three like, like it's it's just you know all of these different changes yeah. instantaneously and uh just speaking to cochranites who met her when she came to cochran yes like, 
I didn't even know the queen came to Cochrane back in like 1954. Yeah, before 56. she became queen. Yeah, she was, she was still a princess. Yeah. And so she was at the, we have, there's a photo actually floating around where yeah. she was at the Cochrane station. And Noel talked to Bob and Bob spent days with her and all that cool stuff. It just, how much it affects it. You know, people who will Monday morning at four in the morning is going to be the service. They're like dressing up. It's kind of like the, the wedding was for right? sure oh yeah i talked to a lady this morning who is going to be gathering with her sister nice. and they're gonna have tea and crumpets they're gonna put on the fascinators um and you know when i was talking to this lady she uh because uh, they've done this for the last couple of royal weddings like for william and for harry and i was like well you know the tone for this one it's going to be a little bit different yeah. right it's not going to be yeah. as, like it's not a wedding right no. it's a funeral yeah. but it's still a celebration right it's still you're celebrating you a so. long reign right yeah. Yeah, so. right? Like, she, she passed away in her sleep, right? Like, she had a very long life, good life, yeah. that kind of stuff. So it shouldn't, it is sad, but it should also be a look back on her reign and all that stuff. And as of, what time are we at? It is just afternoon on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, federal government said, hey, it's a federal holiday, yeah. Monday. But it's actually up to each province whether or not it's a holiday for the people. Yeah. So each province have been coming down. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Mm -hmm. Alberta, as of noon, who knows? They're like, it's still a mystery. We've gotten one statement being like, we're looking into it. Mm -hmm. Maybe. So yeah, we'll, find, we'll, find, we'll, we'll find out when we need to know. Well, the biggest <laughs> thing for people is if it is a stat holiday, School's not in session. Yeah, like, <laughs> moms and dads need to know for childcare yeah. reasons. So right? we are five days away. Does that math work out? Well, today's yeah. Wednesday, right? Yeah. yeah. So five days away. Yeah. And who knows? I'm I'm imagining we will find out today whether or not Alberta gets it as a holiday you or think not. So. I'm leaning towards probably not because that seems like a lot of work. Probably not at this point. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll find out. And uh, either way, are you waking up at four in the morning? Hundred. We don't have a TV here in the studio. No, that would be cool. But, but I but... have a I have extra computers. Nice. I've got I've got a phone. <laughs> You'd got... have it. So Monday morning, if we are working, you can have a play by play. Yeah, with you know, I, regardless, I'm going to be if I'm working or if I'm not working, I'm going to be up anyway, right? My internal alarm clock wakes me up. So, I, but I'm used to getting yeah. up that early. So for me, getting up at four in the morning, yeah. that's not a big deal. So yes, I'll be watching. What about you? I know you love getting up early in the morning. I love getting up and I love the royal family. I don't know. I might be PVRing <laughs> and uh, fast forwarding through the commercials. Do you think commercials are going to run during that? I'm going to guess not. Because no? even the night that she passed away, I was watching some national news coverage yeah. and it was commercial free that really? evening. Yeah, oh yeah, they cut the commercials for that. Because mm -hmm. you got to think maybe like the Super Bowl. That would be a good time to advertise. Everybody's watching. <laughs> You just compared the Queen's funeral to the Super Bowl. You gotta Bowl. imagine they yeah, just said you know you uh, the that. flight carrying her uh, her body was the most tracked flight in human history. <laughs> it, we're breaking records here, Lauren. I'm a very sensitive guy. Oh, clearly. Uh, but bringing it back to Cochrane here, there's been a ton of different stuff. We had Culture Days mm -hmm. last weekend and a huge car show. It was busy in town. The Crazy. parking lot at the old Dodges, I guess what we'd still call yeah. it, was packed. Yeah. And this weekend is Culture Fest. Yes. Which is more... How we explain is multicultural, multicultural festival, festival. Exactly. Right? So you yeah. get to, because of course Cochrane is just a big mixing pot yeah. of amazing people, amazing cultures. So that's going down. And of course, the Terry Fox run. Mm -hmm. So all the schools throughout, I believe this week, Thursday, Friday, seems to be the general census. Yeah. And then there is a community run one, Mitford, I believe. I think so. And yes. that's happening on the weekend. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's always fun. You know, my kids, their, their school one's happening on Friday. Friday, so they've already been talking about it. They're pumped about it because they, they get to wear their school shirts and they yeah. get to raise some money. And, and they say, like, run two laps around the school? I, I think, yeah, they run around, like, the field outside yeah. and whatnot. But as a kid, it's fun because anytime you can be outside and running around, oh, right? That yeah. beats sitting in the classroom. So, And it's cool. Like, I remember even last year, my daughter was in grade one and she learned all about Terry Fox and she came home and she was explaining things and uh, asking a bunch of questions. So I love that they're learning about this. Exactly. And it just keeps going generation to generation. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if McDonald's orange drink is a thing. That used to be part of mine. Run around the school one time. I ran so hard I threw up. 
Because I sprinted. You're doing it for Terry Fox. Are you supposed to sprint, though? <laughs> or are you supposed to be more of like I, a cash No, run? no, I sprinted. Was that before laps. or after you had the orange drink? <laughs> probably after, and that probably contributed to, uh, yeah, but probably. I remember. Yeah, and also in high school, they would let you go after. Like, there was the end of the day. Okay. So people would run those two laps fast so yeah, then you could then go home. <laughs> yeah, and home, <laughs> go right? home, but it's just so cool, and we're going to get so many cool stories about kids learning about an <laughs> You're just picturing me. Whoa! Oh, I did it for Terry. You did it for Terry. Hopefully he raised some money at least. Exactly, (laughs) right? So that's everything happening in Cochrane right now. Uh, You can catch us on all your favorite podcast services. It is very hot in this room today. (laughs) I don't know why, but it's so hot. Um, (laughs) But you can catch us on Spotify, (laughs) Podcastville, all your favorite services. And yet again, I'll talk to you next week. Yep.